That, that, that person got to be proven as a friend to let you in there. Yes. You know, some people are very friendly. They're quick to let in people. Amen. But you got to be careful how you know who you let in. That's right. Who you let in because who you letting in have a lot to do with your spiritual life. That's right. Look, we're not just walking temporally. Look, we're spiritual beings. They got to be careful who you're letting in. Amen. Amen. Because they can affect you. Yes. Go ahead. A time to weep mm -hmm. and a time to laugh. Yes. A time to mourn. Yes. And a time to dance. Yes. A time to cast away stone. Mm -hmm. And a time to gather stones yes. together. Yes. A time to embrace. And a time to refrain. There is a time. There is a time, Reggie. Right. And you got to understand the season that you're in. Yes. And what that season called for. Some are called for light clothes. Yes. Spring called for a little heavier than summer. And fall. And then when winter comes, you got to know. You got to know when it's the season for you to do certain things. You got to know that it's a season to give God praise. Yes. Yes. You got to know, and, and it's my time now. Look, do you know that there is a time when it's, when it's healing? Mm -hmm. Come on now. Go to, go to Matthew chapter, St. John chapter 5. You got to know it. You got to know when to drop in, when to pull away, when to go in and when to move and to look. There's a time that you just got to observe. Amen. Yes, it's not every time you jump into everything. Amen. Sometimes you got to sit back and watch. Like when I just came here, I was checking you all out. <laughs> My spirit was checking you all out. Thank you, Jesus. The spirit of God, because you know, God gave you the spirit of discernment. Yes. And you gotta know when you when you go there, you're gonna say, hey, is, is this one of us? Mm. Yeah, is, is this spirit one of is this spirit the same spirit? My Lord. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta sometimes it's a time to stand back and Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's not, it's not every time I see something, I jump into it. Right. Amen. You know, sometimes when you're doing business, there's a time when to go. Mm -hmm. And when there's a time to hold back. Mm -hmm. And you gotta you gotta know the season when it is. Go ahead. After this, there was a feast of the Jews. Mm -hmm. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market. A pool, mm -hmm. which is called the Hebrew tongue Bethsaida, mm -hmm. having five porches. Having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk. Yes. Of blind, mm -hmm. halt, come on, withered, come on, waiting for the moving of the come water. On. Come on. For an angel went down to a certain season. A certain somebody said a certain season. Certain season. Look, I don't know what you're going through. Ah. I don't know what you're going, but there is a certain season. Yeah. Hallelujah. To step into something, there is a certain season that I need to make a move. There is a certain season that there is going to be a troubling. Oh God! Last week I came in, there was a troubling, but somebody didn't receive the Holy Ghost. And if you weren't working, if you were reading the season properly, you would have missed your blessing. Look, I was there. I was tiring them, and I was, I was getting a refilling. I was like, oh yes, Lord. Look, you gotta know when there's an angel visiting us. My Lord. 
when God sent his ministry in Asia to yes. visit you. Yes. Yes. You got to discern it and know when it's in the house. Jesus. Oh God, I, I walked in last week and I felt the anointing yes. in you. Jesus. Oh God, yes. I know that it was a season of a blessing. Yes. My Lord. And I walked in here and I was like, oh God, something. Hey, yes, I feel the anointing yeah. in here. Hallelujah. And when my oh. brother did the demonstration, yes. and he brought it up to another level, I said, what? Yeah. Oh God, yeah. Yeah. That when he picked it up yes. and he put on the coat, yes. the coat didn't fit. Yes. Yeah. It didn't fit. Yeah. Oh, I guess you gotta look in the spirit yeah. and see what God is saying. Yeah. God said, although your coat didn't fit me, I'm gonna wear it. You know, sometimes we need to look at the sin that we're going through and say, you know what? 
plug is there. When then all of a sudden, you, you hear the engine go. And then all of a sudden, you only hear Pastor get up now. And just go like this on the gas. Thank you, Lord. Which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. Oh, my God. You could imagine having an infirmity 30 and 8 years. Yes, sir. When I saw Mother dance today, I said, she put some of us to shame. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. So look at her moving, and some of these young people still standing one. <laughs> she was, she, she came out, she went in the back, <laughs> and you can see that she heard me. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, at one point I saw Sister Blair come out like, okay, is she going to fall? <laughs> try to catch her. And Mother moved and watched her yeah, in the yeah, spirit. Yeah. And right. she came over here and she danced. Look, that was her season for God to be yes, that thing. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And she thought it was the right season. Yes. And she grabbed it and said, you know what? I came out and she said, I was aching. Uh-huh. But I felt when it was the season for me to put it in my hands. God will just take the pain yes, off. Yes, he will. Yes, he you will. See, we can't sit down on God. Amen. You got to know when it's the season. Amen. Wonderful. You got to know it's the season to shout. Yes. yes. And there's a season to cry. Yes, yes. The Bible said in, 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 in Joel, it said, the, the, the cat worm and the caterpillar, mm. God sent them mm. to eat down these things. And God said, let the ministers at this time not praise, let them weep. Yes. Yeah. Before the porches and elders, that I may restore the years that the canker worm and the caterpillar mm. has wanted. Oh, hallelujah. God, there's a season of restoration. Oh, yeah. And you gotta know when it is. When you are praying today, and God bring that up to you. Hallelujah. It was a, it was a season of refreshing. Yes, yes, yes. And God wants to refresh you yes. and show you, say, look, I, you, you, you might have not remember uh-huh. what I did for you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But, but right now, I know you need this right Amen. now. Amen. And somebody came here today that Amen. needed that testimony. My Lord. Yeah. Supposed to hold it back. Amen. Amen. Testify yes. of the goodness of God. Yes, Lord. Because you know what? Somebody is going through the same thing. That's right. That's right. Yes. And it was that season. Yes. Amen. When Jesus saw him lie mm-hmm. and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? Right now. It's a season. And God is asking somebody, Who do you? Are you going to jump into the season right now? It could be a season of healing. A season of deliverance. A season of refreshing. Are you going to jump in here now? Look, he was there for 30 and 8 years. My Lord Jesus. 30 and 8 years. And the Bible said every time he's about to... 
Somebody beat him. For 38 years, he kept on coming. And every time he, somebody beat him. You can imagine, so you, you, you need deliverance. Ah, Jesus. And every time you're about to get deliverance, somebody get it before you. My Lord. Jesus saw his desperation and his consistency. You gotta be consistent. Oh, yes. 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 I can't, can't come to church and say, "Oh, God didn't bless me today, so I ain't coming back tomorrow." Right. Yeah. My Lord, uh -huh. you gotta be consistent. Yes. 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 You gotta say, "God, I, I yes. know you have healing. Yes. Yes. I know healing is in you, yes. and I know that one day you're gonna heal me." You gotta be persistent yes. and consistent. Yes. You gotta keep on hammering, yes. and you gotta keep pulling on heaven. Yes. Yes. You gotta pull on heaven yes. and say, yes. "God, I'm down here, Lord." Yes. I'm here, Lord. Yes. I'm here, Lord. Yes. I'm here, Lord. Now Jesus came to him. It's his season. Mm. It's his time. Yes. It was the right season, yes. at the right time, mm. at the right place, with the right person. Everything was just right, right, yes. right, right, yes. right, 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 right. His time. Everything. You know, I used to play basketball. When I was in high school, I was really good. And sometime, when I get in that zone, I could close my eyes and be like this. And I know it's gonna fall in. <laughs> when you're just in that zone. Yeah. Right. And when you're in that zone, you just feel it. Yeah. And sometimes in the zone that I play, I will break the whole team down. And go to the room and just look at them and just <laughs> Because you just know when you're in that zone. Yeah. And whenever when, when everything lines up. Yeah. And sometimes when we come to church, you gotta feel when it lines up. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. That's Lord. right. That's Once right. I got here. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Once I got here, yeah. Jesus, Jesus. something moved. Yeah. 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 God saw your prayer, and God said, "I'm going to line up some stuff for you." Yes. Yes. Your, your life was out of order, but I'm, I'm, I'm setting it up. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. God, sometimes God set us up. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. And He set you up for your deliverance. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. He set it up for you to be healed. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Set it up for you to get your victory. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Set you, he, he's setting you up. My brother, you got set up today. <laughs> my Lord. God set you up to be here today to hear this. Yes, yes, yes. My brother, God set you yes, up. Yes, yes. Sister, God set you yes. up. He set you up. God just know how to set you up. Because you know what you need. And it's your season.
and you were wondering, what about me? You came and you see people got deliverance, and you're saying, what about me? You said, God, you know I need you, but every time I come here, I'm about to get in somebody. Jesus himself came this time. You don't need any, Hallelujah. You don't need no angels no more. Yes. I am here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You've got his attention. Thank you, Lord. You've got his attention. Yes, Lord. You've got his attention. Yes, Lord. God saw you praying. Yes, Lord. He saw you fasting. Yes, Lord. He saw you crying. Yes. And he said, I am gonna do it Jesus, myself. Jesus, Jesus. And saw him there Jesus. in his predicament, in his situation, Jesus. all these years Jesus. Jesus. in his sin. Jesus. Keep on getting worse, Jesus. digging himself down. And God said, Will thou, Jesus. Will thou, Will thou, Will thou be, made? be made whole? Hey, hallelujah! Will thou? Hallelujah. Whosoever, whosoever today. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Whosoever. Ah. Oh, whosoever. Thank you, Lord. Do you feel whole? Do you feel whole? Do you feel whole? Do you feel whole? And God said, I know you don't feel whole. But will thou be made whole? Will you be made whole? Do you want to be made whole? Do you want to be made whole? Do you want The Lord said that there was Jesus was in a room teaching. And some men brought their friend. And when he came at the door, the crowd was so thick. Come to get it. See, there's some things we got to do. Jesus. And, and, and you know, you know what I see that sometimes what we got to do, we gotta carry something. Hey, hey! Jesus. Yes, yes. You gotta be hungry. Yes, yes. You gotta Jesus. be hungry. Yes. 